Yes, let's just deal with the elephant in the room. <laughs> I did cut my hair. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. I think today is part four of our sunscreen review series. In this series, I am reviewing for you all the sunscreens in my collection. My collection is ridiculous. I am a sunscreen lover in case you didn't know, but I decided that I will do this series so that it can help you, especially if you're a person of skin of color or live in a humid climate, you can kind of have an idea of what works, what doesn't, what I like, what I don't like and why. So let's get into it because I have four sunscreens to share with you today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And while you're here, can I ask you to just like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below. It really helps this video get to the people that also need to hear this information. So I really appreciate your help to do that. So just before we get into it, let me just remind you, because I still keep getting this question a lot. People will message me and say, Sherry, I want a sunscreen that's not going to give me a white cast. So here's the cheat sheet to find a sunscreen that will not give you a white cast. Sunscreens with all chemical filters will not have a white cast. The white cast tends to happen with mineral sunscreens. So that's why you will find with people of color using mineral sunscreens and sometimes even people of lighter skin tones, Caucasians and so on, may have issues use with certain mineral sunscreens because of that issue and that's really because of the zinc oxide that is present in those formulas so if you want to find a sunscreen by and large that you are sure is not going to give you a white cast then you need to look at chemical filters however let me just encourage you to check out the first video i did in this series because i did go a little bit more into detail about the differences and why there are some people who probably can't use chemical filters and therefore they end up back to square one struggling with finding a good mineral sunscreen but yes, this is the Sunscreen Life. I definitely recommend that you check that out and get to know your chemical filters. That information is going to take you a long way in choosing sunscreens for your skin. So the first sunscreen is from a brand called Abib. It is a Korean sunscreen and you all will know that Abib makes some of my absolute favorite cheek masks till today. They are a very, very popular brand in South Korea and they have a very, very interesting sunscreen. This is called the Abib Heartleaf Sun Essence Coming Drop. This is SPF 50 plus, PA 4 pluses. So we know that we are getting excellent UVB protection and excellent UVA protection. Now, this is not what you expect a sunscreen to come in, right? In terms of the packaging and so on. We're going to get into that. That's one of the things I actually like about this product. So let me tell you how the sunscreen is described. It contains 50,000 ppm of heart leaf extract to not only provide sun protection but calm your skin. It is light and moist in texture that quickly absorbs into the skin providing a soft feather light finish and that is what roped me in. I was so curious because of the packaging. I wanted to see how this formulation would be so I purchased this several months ago and we're going to get into it. This sunscreen is an oil chemical filter sunscreen and what that means you will not get a white cast. This one actually contains only the newer filters. Those filters that I keep telling you are the ones that my skin has absolutely been loving, those European, those Asian filters as well, including the Uvasorb HEP. And I think I mentioned that in my last sunscreen video, that one is super, super photostable. It loses only 10% of its SPF abilities in a 24 hour period. And that is breakthrough information because we are told to reapply our sunscreens every two hours. And that's because the sunscreen filters that we've been accustomed to for decades usually break down after two hours. So this is science going in the right direction, especially for sunscreens. Now this Abib formula is very liquidy. As you will see, it contains alcohol and that alcohol is acting as a solvent. And that is what actually gives it that type of texture it also is fragrance free and essential oil free for those of you who are interested. One of the things that of course I love about this sunscreen as with a lot of Asian especially Korean sunscreens they are not just sunscreens they tend to have a lot of functional cosmetic ingredients so they have additional benefits for the skin besides just being your sun protection. So this one contains heart leaf which is Cortonia cordata, an ingredient that I have been talking about, especially over the last year, that has a lot of calming and soothing properties for the skin. It contains niacinamide. You all know I love that. It contains glycerin, which is a humectant. It also contains panthenol, another great ingredient for hydrating your skin, and licorice root, which is brightening and has antioxidant properties. 
So my thoughts on this, I absolutely love this dropper. And I don't know if the dropper is calibrated, but exactly two dropperfuls of this will give me my quarter teaspoon, which makes application a breeze. This thing melts into the skin. It applies beautifully on the skin. However, this one does leave a more glowy, dewy finish on the skin. And those are the types of sunscreens that I will tend to recommend for normal to drier skin types and not necessarily oily skin but on my oily skin guys i love like this is my favorite dewy sunscreen and why i love it so much is because whenever i use this sunscreen i'm always glancing at myself in the mirror it just makes my skin look so gorgeous so healthy so beautiful and of course i know there are a lot of skin loving ingredients that niacinamide is working there I, my skin loves heart leaf extract and panthenol and all of that so it is a beautiful beautiful formulation and while this is fragrance free and essential oil free, you can smell something that could probably just be the sunscreen ingredients. I don't get any pill in with the sunscreen at all. And like I said, there is no white cast with the sunscreen on my skin. And while it is glowy, healthy, dewy looking, it is not tacky at all. Like give this a couple of minutes, it's going to settle lovely. I haven't actually worn this one under makeup. And that's just because I love how my skin looks. I usually wear this when I am not wearing makeup at all. I love this sunscreen. It is on the pricier side for Korean sunscreens. But if you are interested in experimenting with a formulation like this, I highly recommend this one. Next, we have these jumbo sunscreens. Like, look at the size of these bottles. These are almost 300 ml. They are around like 297. So it is about six times the amount that you get in a regular sunscreen. Like most sunscreens tend to be around 50 ml. And that means that we definitely need to be repurchasing a lot more often. So first of all, let me just say that I love the size of these. And I'm going to tell you between these two, which one I actually prefer. So both of these are from a brand called Union. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Don't come at me if I butcher it, but it is another Korean brand. And let me just talk about this one first. So this one is the Eonial Cloud Mint Drop Sun Fluid. It is SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses. So again, we know that we have excellent UVA and UVB protection. It is described as a lightweight sunscreen that offers excellent protection as well as brightening and wrinkle improvement effects. It's infused with apple mint, spearmint, and seeker extracts to hydrate and soothe the skin, functional ingredients for skin brightening and wrinkle improvement. So when you hear Korean products talk about functional cosmetic ingredients, it's because by law, they have to prove that certain ingredients that they include in their formula can do certain things or have certain effects on the skin. And that's how they can use that term and have certain certifications or make certain claims about their products. So this one actually contains some great skin loving ingredients as well. Niacinamide, Centella Asiatica, as you would have heard, sodium hyaluronate and adenosine, which is one of those ingredients that is used for wrinkle improvement. But as you would have heard, this one contains things like spearmint and apple mint. Like I have not heard about those ingredients before in another sunscreen. This sunscreen is another all chemical filter sunscreen. It contains two filters and two of the newer filters as well that are very photo stable on the skin. And while it is fragrance and essential oil free, this one actually does contain some alcohol. So that's important for you to know. Again, the alcohol in there being used as a solvent. And that's why you will see this one has a very liquidy texture as well. Now, the texture of this one reminds me a lot of the Biore Athleism in terms of how watery and runny it is. Again, because of that texture, I can apply my whole quarter teaspoon all in one go because it is very liquidy. It does not have the silicone feel like the Biore. It just feels liquidy and more watery on the skin. Because it is an all chemical filter sunscreen, there is no white cast with this one. And there's something interesting about the sunscreen. When you start applying it, the skin looks and feels feels very moisturized not in a heavy way at all very lightweight but you're looking at your skin and you're thinking oh my god this is going to be like very glowy or very dewy but the trick with this one is you just wait five minutes and this was the thing i was completely shocked the first time i tried this and then when i looked at my skin five minutes later this thing settles to such a beautiful natural finish on the skin that caused this sunscreen to become one of my absolute favorites and go-to sunscreens and of course i am not angry at all because of the size because this is so worth it it actually becomes very affordable because of the size and the amount of the sunscreen that you're getting and this one works well for me under makeup as well i love how it wears on the skin as well it doesn't get greasy or oily it 
doesn't disrupt the rest of my skincare. This one as well blends in super easily. There is no pilling with the sunscreen. And something that I find special about this sunscreen is that when you are applying it, I guess it's because of the spearmint and all of that, it has a very cooling, refreshing feel on the skin. And because I live in a hot, humid climate, that is absolutely welcomed. I will say, however, that it actually doesn't really smell minty. It smells like sunscreen, like it has a very light smell. But again, this one is actually fragrance and essential oil free. So I guess what we're smelling is the actual ingredients. But I could definitely feel that cooling sensation that I absolutely love on the skin. I mean, it doesn't last forever, but it is definitely very pleasant. So the next one by Eunial is their Daily Care Fresh Sunscreen. And this one is actually SPF 46, whereas the other one is SPF 50. And this one is PA 3 pluses. So still really good UVA and UVB protection from this one. Now, the Daily Fresh Care Sunscreen is described as another lightweight sunscreen that hydrates the skin with two types of hyaluronic acid. It is also enriched with niacinamide, like the first one, to brighten your complexion, and it also has adenosine for wrinkle improvement. It is a creamy formula that leaves a non-sticky finish without forming a white cast. So again, this one is also an all-chemical filter sunscreen. This one, however, is alcohol-free versus the Sun Fluid, which does contain some alcohol. It is also fragrance-free and essential oil-free. This one, like you heard, does contain some niacinamide, two types of hyaluronic acid, which is really good for attracting moisture to the skin. And there are some other functional cosmetic ingredients in this product. The real difference between them that I notice is the texture. So the sun fluid is more liquidy. The fresh care is more lotion-y. And while it is a lightweight lotion, I actually find that I feel this one on my skin. The thing about it is this is not like an excessively dewy or glowy sunscreen. And it is pretty lightweight in terms of how it blends into the skin and how it feels but for some reason I can feel it on my skin and because I know about the texture of the sun fluid and how I love that and how much more lightweight that one is the sun fluid is definitely my favorite however if you are more normal to dry skin and the alcohol in the formulation of the sun fluid might be an issue for you but you want to try these out especially because you want to take advantage of the huge sizes then yeah, I will definitely say you can try the Daily Care Fresh Sunscreen from this brand. They are great formulations. They have great ingredients. And it is definitely an option if you are looking at your dollars and how you're spending on sunscreen. The last sunscreen in today's video is a physical slash mineral sunscreen. And it is one that's actually very, very popular. This is by Access Y. This is their complete no stress physical sunscreen. And this is their reformulated version. This was actually one of my favorite mineral sunscreens from Korea because of their previous formulation. So I waited when I heard they were going to reformulate the sunscreen to get this new tube and I do have it and I have been using it for a couple of weeks. So yes, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this reformulation. This sunscreen is described as a mugwort based sunscreen featuring 2% niacinamide and squalane, an ingredient that our skin loves, that protects the skin from both UVA and UVB damage while providing the healing properties of skin loving ingredients and everyday no stress life. And I love how that sounds. This one is SPF 50 plus as well pa4 plus is great uva uvb protection however this one is an all physical or mineral sunscreen so the two filters in here are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide now this sunscreen again is one of those korean sunscreens that really focuses on not just the sunscreen ingredients but a lot of great skincare ingredients so this one has like you heard the niacinamide and the squalane but it also contains green tea adenosine glycerin and it actually does contain some essential oils and I guess that's what you're actually smelling in the sunscreen because there is no added fragrance in case that's important for you to know. Now the scent of this to me is actually kind of cologne -ish. <laughs> like a male cologne actually smells kind of nice you know I actually think it smells a little bit better than the previous one but my thoughts on the sunscreen I love the tube I love the packaging I love this little tip from the tube uh, in terms of dispensing the sunscreen. I don't know why, but I just like it. I just find it to be cute. <laughs> As you guys know, mineral sunscreens has in general been my preference until the revolution I experienced last year, trying a lot of these new filters that has been doing really well on my skin, but I am still always looking for a really good mineral sunscreen. This one, the texture is lotion-y. It is a little bit thicker than the other sunscreens that I did talk about in today's video. However, I have no problem working with it, blending it into my skin. I do have to do this in layers and I find that that's actually the best way, especially to apply mineral sunscreens. And the white cast on this one is there but it's actually not so bad it's very very workable i've had worse white cast 
I actually find that the white cast on the original formula was a little bit less than this one, but that's fine. My issue with this sunscreen is that it really, really, really gets stuck in my hairline. And that is my only problem. I mean, I could take the extra time and blend it in, but sometimes I blend, I blend, I blend, and I could still see it there. And that's where you can actually see that I'm probably wearing a mineral sunscreen because that's where it shows more than so much on the face. But you all know I don't waste mineral sunscreens because if I have that issue or if I feel I need to go out in the public and people need to see me and I'm wearing a mineral sunscreen, I just cover it up with a skin tone powder. I put foundation on, have no problem. This one wears beautifully, especially on my oily skin. If you have combination to oily skin or you have sensitive skin that's not sensitive to essential oils, I would say this is a really nice option for you to look into. If you are much fairer than me, you would probably not see that white cast at all because it is minimal on my skin tone. So yeah guys, that's it for today. Have you tried any of these sunscreens? I hope that this series is useful for you guys. What sunscreen are you loving these days? What new have you tried? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Take care.